look at these tires. I mean, they're not really tires. This is black granite, like one piece of granite that he spent time in his mill just creating all this, like to make it look like a tire and just the way it's indented, looking like the rim. I mean, even the treads on the top to make it look like the treads of a, an yeah, actual yeah, tire. This is some serious, serious stonemasonry here. To give you an idea of scale, that's a 41 inch tire right there. Yeah, I'm this high on B. My second stone truck with Chris Miller. He is obviously just a stone artist. What I'm excited about with this one is how different it's going to be than the last one. And when we do water features, all of our water features are so different yeah, and unique every single time. Things. But this one's literally going to feel like it's crawling up a rock mountain. And I think it's going to be amazing. I'm more excited to see the expression on his face. This is going to be his fifth stone truck. Only one his fourth one with water coming out of it. I think our job is to not screw up his job yeah. <laughs> with what we do. That's a good way to put it, right? <laughs> So we're working with the Chris Miller. Chris Miller, if you don't know him, is a artist, right? I mean, he's just straight up artist. He's done a few of these stone trucks. I believe this is the fifth one in the entire planet. And he's having us come out to do water features all around it. So I can kind of walk through with exactly what we're gonna do, but it's gonna be hard to picture because I don't even think we know exactly what we're doing yet. But we're gonna get a pool underneath that truck over there. And then I don't know if you can see this grade change, but we have about a three foot grade change from down in here to over there. So we'll get a big three foot high waterfall falling this way towards all of this traffic over there. Here's the intersection, Vostek. And they come this way. And then we're gonna get about a four foot waterfall coming out of the bed of this truck over here. So water's gonna pool up in this truck, fill out this way into another pool, which will then feed another waterfall that ties in with that waterfall. So waterfall's all over the place and really just to help complement what Chris and his guys are doing over here. So really exciting and hopefully we can beat the weather because I'm already feeling some sprinkles. I think you bring that. <laughs> They put all of this soil over here to get that truck up on a pedestal. And they did a great job. They got it all compacted, but all of this stuff is in our way. So we've got to remove all of the soil from basically around the base of the truck. Look at these tires. I mean, they're not really tires. This is black granite, like one piece of granite that he spent time in his mill just creating all this, like to make it look like a tire and just the way it's indented, looking like the rim. I mean, even the treads on the top to make it look like the treads of a, an yeah, actual tire. This is some serious, serious stonemasonry here. To give you an idea of scale, that's a 41 inch tire right there. Yeah, I'm also out here with my good friend Ralph. Hi, Ralph. Hey! <laughs> Ralph with Pond Z. Hey Ralph, when I called you and said, hey, would you be interested in doing something like this? What were your initial thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like Jack said, uh, we've seen uh, Chris's work on Facebook, on his channel, and it's just amazing. It's just, you know, I don't even have enough descriptive words. I mean, this is just incredible what he's, uh, him and his team are accomplishing out here. And to be able to come and uh, bring our craft to the table, yeah. I mean, how cool is that? So this is my second stone truck with Chris Miller. He is is obviously just a stone artist, right? You wouldn't call him a mason, you'd call him just a straight up stone artist. And what I'm excited about with this one is how different it's gonna be than the last one. And when we do water features, all of our water features are so different yeah, and unique you know, every you know, single time. Say. But this one's literally gonna feel like it's crawling up a rock mountain. And I think it's gonna be amazing. I'm more excited to see the expression on his face. This is gonna be his fifth stone truck, only one his fourth one with water coming out of it. I think our job is to not screw up his job yeah. <laughs> with what we do. That's a good way to put it, right? <laughs> I don't want our water feature to be the showcase. I no. want it to kind of just accentuate and complement what he's already doing. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And uh, hopefully with the underwater lights and the flow of water, that'll be a big thing. Now the one thing the homeowner, Robert, asked for was just a lot of water. So we have three pumps on here yeah. pushing like, somewhere around 20, 25,000 gallons of water. 
So that's a hopefully, lot. hopefully we we're bringing them. That's the same amount of water we used out in Utah. Yeah, and this is a lot smaller, yeah. so <laughs> this is gonna be jamming down here. I'm excited. All the right. People coming in this intersection, they're not gonna know where to look because they're gonna see this waterfall and then this thing. Like, what the heck? Who has a stone truck <laughs> like this anywhere? So it's gonna yeah. be pretty amazing. This is definitely a one of a kind in the entire world. Yeah. Yo, man, Always man. fun to build with friends. Let's do it. Cool. Okay, our reservoir is completely shaped out. We put a layer of sand on the bottom. That's gonna protect us from anything that's below it. So there's some sharp stuff in the soil. Got that like good two inch bedding of sand. Then we've got our layer of fabric, which is what you see now. Next comes our liner, and then we're doing another layer of fabric. So we create that sandwich of protection for our liner. Then we go ahead and put our reservoir together, which is gonna be our 30 aqua blocks, two pump vaults. Once that's all in and backfill, we start the fun stuff, which is building waterfalls. Reservoir's in, we've set up our first waterfall stone. It's actually super simple, maybe a little too simple for us. We we're probably gonna layer in some stuff back behind it, get it to come out from underneath that truck a little bit, and then maybe even put something in front of it so it bounces and does something else. But now we get to do the fun part. This is why we love our job, building the waterfalls. Digging the hole and putting the aqua blocks in isn't all that much fun, but it's a necessary evil and. Yeah, that looks great. You got enough room from the vault? Yeah. All right guys, that's a wrap for day one. I'm always super, super impressed on what we get done in a day. Jack, I was just saying, it's how crazy it is how much we get done in a single day. So we were held up for a good part of the day, waiting for a pondless vault, just getting things straightened out with the reservoir. Once we got past lunch and we started getting bowlers in, it's like it just magically you know, <laughs> got a lot bigger. So we're taking up a good 15 feet of space here with these bowlers with like seven rocks, Yeah, which is super cool. It gives it a lot of structure. I love working with big rocks because it looks super realistic if you do it right. I'm really excited about this rock. Up behind this truck, we're going to be creating this pool. So it's just going to look like this truck is sitting on top of the pooling area. We're going to come out of here with a low waterfall. It's going to change direction. It's going to hit this big one. And this natural high spot is going to divert it around both sides. This rock here, the way this works, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. And we got lucky on this one. When we set this down and it sat in place, we're like, oh man, like let's not change anything. That worked. <laughs> Out perfect. We're gonna get water coming over here. It's gonna hit this rock, and the thing about it, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this is a higher spot here. It's gonna corral that water this way, do a little dip, and it's gonna shoot that water off. We're also gonna get like a ribbon waterfall right down in here, so we'll get some of that cross action going on. Then on this side, we've got a super clean sheet of water. We're probably gonna stone this up so we get like that kicker type waterfall coming through here. So nice big sheet here, kicking out here. A lot of white water action. That intersection is looking right here and we needed that for this spot. And then over on this side, we've got this super gnarly piece of rock, which I really like. I mean, it's got so much character to it. We looked at it from standing out there and you can just kind of bury the wheel a little bit. So it's gonna look like it's going through like a mountainous area. This is gonna be framing a waterfall that comes in from the tailgate side. And on this side, we're just gonna run one pump. We kind of thought about maybe trying to bring these two together, but we're like, that's the presentation on that side. This, we gotta make it a bit cleaner. So one pump's gonna do it here. We'll drop into a pooling area here. And even over here, we've got just like three or four rocks that create this whole cascade area. We're framing this in here. We're framing this in here. This has a natural high spot. The water's gonna come through here. And it's got just enough of a gap here where it's gonna churn and then blast right off that way and then disappear into the reservoir. So you're gonna have this walking path that goes right in front of this thing. People are gonna stop here and just appreciate all this. And then of course from there, we gotta go up around the bend, come out of that tailgate, so much more to do. But for day one, I think we kicked some serious butt. <laughs> all right, Ralph, I, like actually all three of us kind of saw the same thing with finishing off this waterfall. Now we don't have a whole lot of room, like real estate left between the height of this and the base of the wheel over there. So you were talking about maybe coming back in, explain what you were thinking back over in that space. So we've got this big rock that's gonna have a huge sheet of water just gushing off of it and that's awesome, but we don't want to have something directly behind that just in line. So with this big rock, kind of framing, 
we can have something at an angle yeah. coming off this way and turning and that this will also add some view for people sitting at the red light looking over you got all these different viewing options as you walk around the, the walkway you get different angles of the water coming through i like the idea of having different viewpoints to give you different uh, yeah different i think very rarely do we get to work with stone that looks like glass on top right it's so so flat and if we're going to do that it's really important that we don't create that symmetrical staircase back behind it so i love that idea i'm bringing that one way back like almost on a 45 hiding it and then getting something kind of gnarly over in this area and then that pool that shallow pool up and underneath there we really kick butt today getting all this stuff done yeah <laughs> This is actually pretty cool. One of the things I'm noticing, and this is the view that really matters from all the way over here. You can see how massive that truck is. And this is the view, like as you come off the expressway over here and you make your right hand turn down this street. So you're gonna see that truck. And the truck is obviously extremely noticeable, standing at almost 12 feet tall. But our waterfalls and rocks look almost insignificant underneath that thing. So one of the things I was talking about, and I just gotta get some approval, is adding some larger boulders really just kind of in front of it over in here in the foreground in a couple spots trying to get this to look more like a mountainside we'll obviously get that big four foot sheet coming off the back side of the truck which will help with the scale but right now even our massive boulders in front look completely out of scale to the truck so I'd like to get something that's a good you know almost as tall as the front fender on the front hand side but we'll see if we can't get that done and, and fix the scale of the whole project a little bit 